Well, good morning to Sea Fishing with CJ. Back out on the sea again. Well, we're still on the river as it happens, but we will be going out on the sea. Um, again, definitely a different day to the last time we were out. I can actually see the other side of the river. Couldn't see the other side of the river last time we were out. Um, forecast is we've got quite big tides today, so that will make it challenging. And it is forecast to absolutely hiss it down later. So it'll be waterproofs on, tuck ourselves underneath the cuddy, keep out the weather. But the good news is very light winds, very light winds. So the question is burning on our minds, who is in the cupboard today? It's Woody! <laughs> Morning everyone, it's an early one. Yeah, another early day. Would have been earlier if someone had forget, hadn't forgotten his sandwiches. Yeah, Let's go outside the harbour. Um, there's lots of mackerel showing up, uh, or fish showing up on the fish finder. So we're going to have a little pump, see if we can get ourselves some mackerel, fresh mackerel for bait. Uh, and then we'll get out to where we're fishing. Because there's nothing better than fresh mackerel. And actually, what I'm hearing, the killer bait for taupe is live mackerel. So maybe we'll try and keep some, some live in the live bait tank. So we'll have, have a little pump here and see what we get. Woody's tackling up. Water's very coloured here. So you've literally got to have to dump the mackerel fibers underneath the fish's nose. Looking at the, the um, fish finder, my feathers are a little bit deep. You can see them going up and down, but above them is a big dark mass of fish. Come on, mackerel. I know you're there. Oh, there's something there. Huge balls of fish. Well, the amazing thing is, the fish finder is showing huge balls of fish off here, but the water visibility, there's probably about two foot visibility because the uh, rainwater coming down the river and what have you. And so they're there, but they're not, not taking the, fly, the feathers. And you can't say that we're not cranking the feathers through under their noses because you couldn't miss them. The great balls of fish there. They perhaps they're not feeding. Yeah, so we're only in 15 feet of water as well, so it's not as though we're yeah. in the wrong column. No, absolutely. I mean, I can see my feathers going up and down in the shoal. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, what, what we're going to do is we'll we'll go out and find some clear water. There will, will be some mackerel out there. We'll get some mackerel, um, and if it needs be, if we don't, we've got plenty of frozen anyway. So uh, that's the plan. So let's go off and I'll go offshore and see what we can find. So we're on our way back out to uh, Stroudy's where we've had a, quite a result recently. Uh, we're going to be fishing a bit of rough ground um, with a hope. I'm not going to say what our target species will be because it will jinx me completely. But we have some plans, shall we say. It rhymes with hope. It rhymes with hope and, and sound. We had a ray here the other day. There's, there's every chance of a bull hus. Um, dogfish, <laughs> they'll always be present. But there should be some bream as well, hopefully. That's what we're hoping for. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be hordes of pouting because we're not going on a wreck. We'll just give it a go. You see on the chart there um, just how many wrecks there are off this coast. I mean, obviously that's panned by quite well out, but uh, we'll put the camera back on when we're there and it is forecast to chuck it down. So 
getting our waterproofs on in anticipation of that. Got my old Peter Storm stuff, which is, um, well, watertight. <laughs> it's really good. What have you got a bite? Species. Yeah, maybe you've got a bream coming in, first bream of the day, or the foot, oh! Oh, mackerels, mackerels on the other rod. Yeah. Oh, look, oh, oh, look. It's all happening. Yeah, I've got nothing on this rod. Oh, oh, now I've picked up mackerel on the way up. <laughs> I've picked up mackerel, I know I have. Got nothing on it, and then bang, 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 bang. Picked up my own line, No, so, here we go, mackerel and worm on the way up. I shall start fishing for them in earnest once I'm dry. Oh, I've got them on my rod as well. <laughs> so let's get that in. Ooh, I think we've got a full string on here. And of course, if you leave a full string down there, by the time you get them up, they are just a mess. As you said, a, mess. a, a mess of mackerel. There you go. That's the live bait sorted out for the day, I think, or the bait sorted out for the day. Yes. Give you something to do while you're waiting for the big rod to go. Oh. Fresh, dry and safe. Let the fishing begin. That is the skunk out of the boat, the dog fish in the boat. Oh, I've got a rattle on that rod as well. Right? That is the downside of putting bait on your, you know, putting a rubby bag on your anchor, is it does draw in the dog fish. Okay, well the traps are set. Um, on this rod, I have got a hard shell crab on the bottom, on a paternoster, and then above it, I've got a small piece of worm, also on a paternoster. The idea being smooth hounds on the bottom, bream on the top. On this rod, which is a bit more of a beefier rod, um, this, this is only a six pound class rod, so it, it's a lovely rod, uh, great for using with braid. This, this is a, a Beastmaster, doesn't look to be a beefy rod, but it is very powerful. Uh, and I've got a whole flapper mackerel on there on a size 8 hook, circle hook, on 200 pound uh, trace, with a hope of something with some teeth. Uh, and what's Woody doing? What you got on this rod, well, Woody? This one, I'm just setting up for tope All now. Right, so you're so gonna I put can a, show you the trace, I'm just unwinding it okay. now. Um, show you what, what I've got. Um, thanks to good old Google. It's not been done this for many, many years. I thought I'd have a look and see what's going on out there. So you've got quite a long trace there, haven't so you? So I have got quite a long trace. They seem to recommend that for the boat. Yeah. Um, so I'm kind of about 12 foot. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I'm, sure, I'm a lot shorter than that. It's about four or five foot. Um, See if it makes a difference. Well, we shall see, yeah. So this is this is a monofilament rubbing strip, yeah. Yeah, it's rubbing, a rubbing strip. It's 150. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple of couple of people out there say you should go kind of six foot with 150, then go six foot with 100. But I've just gone 150 all the way through. And on the business end, what I've got is I've got 200 wire. All right. Okay, so I'm about um, two foot in the old money. Yeah. Um, all of them seem to recommend a double crimp. Right, yeah, that makes um, sense. Rather than single, yeah, and some of them, some of them re recommended a slip knot, but I wasn't quite sure how to do that in wire, and I wasn't clever enough, and it was right. getting late last night yeah. when I tied them up. So, hopefully, double crimped yeah. uh, all the way through on the mono two. Um, that'll do the business. And what size hooks? Six O on there. Right, okay. So I've also got my setup for flapper yeah. uh, for um, um, hair uh, rigging it. Right. Um, so I'm going to try a single hook. Yeah. Nose hooks, flapper, and see where we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To start. Cool, excellent. So that's, my, right. that's the. And then on this rod, you've got, you've got your. This is your bream rod, yeah. Yeah, bream so. rod. That's uh, a night light. It's just a 12 pound 
Uh, six to twelve pound class boat rod. It's a lovely yeah. little light thing. Uh, a couple of French booms with some worm on. Right, lovely, 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 lovely. Uh, and you've had a dogfish on that so far. Had a dogfish. Yeah. No bream. <laughs> but the skunk is out of the boat, and that's the important thing. And the tide is literally just starting to run now. So, uh, in theory, this is when the fishing should start picking up, and then it starts getting challenging because the tide will start picking up because it's quite big tides today. Um, looking at the sea, it is almost mill pond calm. It's lovely, 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 lovely. It is raining. To be quite honest, I quite like that. And I quite like the fact that it's overcast because, trust me, out here for eight, ten hours in the sun, you're going to cook. We ain't going to cook today. <laughs> It'll be boiling in a bag, but so we won't be cooking. Because uh, I've got my waterproofs on and already I can feel me steaming up inside. Yeah. Um, we've got some lure rods as well to have a little play with, so I might have a little chat with a lure rod just to see if there's anything out there that will take a lure. Um, Got a bite. Oh, he's got a bite on on his bream rod. Yeah, so it very much looks like a dogfish. Yeah, it does look like a dogfish bite. We've got we've got a load of mackerel bits in an onion sack on the anchor, so it, there is a trail of scent that's going down the line underneath the boat. Um, the plus side of that is yes, it will attract something interesting along, but it also attracts the dogfish. So we'll have a look, see where that is when he winds it in. Horse mackerel or scad. Good bait, good bait for conger. Um, good live baits actually. On the worm or? No. Flapper. On the flapper. Ooh. Not monstrous, but... Big dogfish. <laughs> yeah. Bullus, I did say bullus. As I say, we've had rays here, so. Yeah. Is it a taupe or a smooth hound? Well uh, or a spur dog? Well Could be a spur dog. Well or is it a conger eel? Oh. Yeah. No, it's no, a sharky type tail. No, it's a sharky type tail. That's the one problem of having a long trace like that. First taupe of the day. Hoorah! Hoorah indeed. It's a taupe, I can see its teeth. <laughs> Taupey teeth. Taupey teeth. I'll get this out without biting me because they have got a set of noshes on them. There you go. Well. I know it's not my fish, but I'm going to get first. Oh, it's trying to bite me, the bloody thing. First. There you go, Woody. Not big. I mean, what do you reckon? Four or five pounds? Yeah, it's kind of like that. Not a monster. But no. Target species is yeah. always welcome. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go. I don't really go yet. Yes. Uh, have you let it go? Yeah. Oh, I said don't oh, let it go. <laughs> I said don't let it go yet. Well, that's it gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeehaw! 
very long, dull period for me, both my rods suddenly start going loopy. It's not, actually it's not, it's not a big fish on here I think. But it was definitely banging away like a good one. My first dog fish of the day. <laughs> Not really dog fishy baits I've got on here. Bloody hard shell crab and a, and a worm, but I suppose they do take worms. Something there. <laughs> it could be the curse, the scourge of the scad. The scourge of the scad. Scourge of the scad, but hey, apart from mackerel, it is my first fish of the day, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock it. No. But uh, interesting looking fish. Whoop. Game -looking fish isn't Big it? eyes on them, so yeah. obviously they're used to feeding down really yeah. deep. Yeah. This black dot spot on their, on their gill cover, and this curved, really abrasive lateral line which is really spiky if you run your fingers back up it. All right, Woody um, did declare that he had a bite and he's winding something in, but he's up the rod. Nice, yeah, it's gone light. So I think he's probably bringing his other rod up. Well, we've just lost a really good ray. I mean, we got it up on the surface Unfortunately, Woody's uh, second rod was wrapped around the line and, and as I was untangling it, the line just went ding and, and it disappeared, but it was a big ray. I have to say, it was a big fish. Biggest, would have been the biggest ray I'd had on this boat, I think. And, and I've been having knocks and rattles on this rod and I kind of wound it in to check the bait and uh, I found I got this on the end. So, circle hooks have done their job. Hooks in the corner of the mouth, which is nice to see. There you go. So. One dogfish. Bye. Was that on a whole flapper or was it on a fillet? There we go, flatbed mackerel on a size, well they say they're 12 o's, but I'd say it's an 8 o circle hook uh, on a huge one kilo of lead to hold the bottom and uh, what could go wrong? <laughs> what, could go wrong? what could possibly go wrong? My turn for a decent fish, all I've had is a scad and a dogfish, which Kind of is how Woody started out, so. Dump the bottom a couple of times until it's reached its point that it's not kiting up. Put it in the rest. Sit down and enjoy my cup of tea, which I started some time ago. It's probably quite cold now. Yep, I've got a cake and a cup of tea in my hand and my rod goes crazy. Oh, both rods going crazy. Ah! God, no. <laughs> this is, this is, should be the better fish. Do you want there's a fish on that? Yeah, go on for it. Might be smooth now. This this isn't big. It's probably just a bloody dogfish after that. Is the fish still there or not? Mm, it is, it's a dream. 
this is coming up a bit docile. See if this is just the dogfish I'll get. Finish off the landing of that one. Skull drag this up. Yeah, here we go. Oh, no, it's the bait. <laughs> Whatever was there is gone. There was, there was definitely something there. I'll take that over. Cheers. <laughs> oh, yeah. So when you've got big weights like this, it kind of uh, deadens it all, doesn't it? Oh, bream! You got a bream? Yeah, I got a bream. So there we go. One of the target species of the day achieved. It's undersized, so it'll have to go back, but uh, still nice to see. Just shows they're around. They are a pretty little fish. Look at that, beautiful. Look at the markings, look at the spines on the back. Little gold lines down this side. Yeah. Little small mouth, so you're going to use small hooks with them. Give him a little kiss and we'll put him back. <laughs> so one target achieved and I think that was a taupe on that other rod. And it's because it's a circle hook, I should have left it a bit longer and let it turn and run away from it. Sometimes they follow it up. Certainly wasn't a, uh, a ah, certainly wasn't dogfish. Just put a hook in the thumb, which is not good. Um, put that down there. Whoops. Let's get this one up. Sort this bait out because it's spinning around a bit. And then get back to the cake. <laughs> More importantly, get onto the cake. I think the scent trail that we've been putting down off the, the burly bag on the anchor is starting to have effect. Starting to draw some of these uh, critters in. That would have been quite good if I could have landed a, a tote and then snatched onto the other rod and landed a bream. <laughs> and target species. So I need to get a smooth round and a tote now and a ray and then I'm a happy bunny. That's achieved all we want to achieve today. And it was all sparked off by the fact that I had a cup of tea and a bit of cake in my hand. So I'm back to the tea and cake. Let's see what happens now. We've got a bit of activity on it. It's just nodding and banging. So it just, just be dogfish that are ragging at the bait. Um, or it could be a tote that's just slashing at it and taking bits off the tail and in a minute when it takes the hook it'll turn and run. Let's hope. Let's hope. That's the plan. That's the plan. That's what I'm holding out for. We'll, either, we'll leave it nodding and rattling. If it stops doing anything then we'll wind it in because the bait's gone. Or we'll get a big lunging bite. There's definitely still something going on there. The good thing about circle hooks is once they're hooked on them, they tend to stay hooked on. They're still wrapping and banging away. I'm, I'm thinking maybe I've got a dogfish on the end of there, but um, let's live in hope. I'll come back. When something happens. With a bigger, heavier rod to develop, we've got a bite on this light rod. There's something on it, I think, probably a goldfish. I'm thinking. The problem is we haven't fished with such heavy leads that it's um, a bit hard to tell. There is some colour though, there is a fish there. There is definitely a fish there. There's another wing. Three fish. 
refish in on the bait. My other, oh no, it's a, it's a big, big mackerel. <laughs> that thing's taking the weight. Yeah. Taking the worm. Well, we want some more mackerel, didn't we? So. This is more like the forecast. Yeah. Uh, grey skies. No, it's not. It's not cold, is it? No. But uh, it's kind of proper rain now. Yeah, proper rain. Right, both rods. We're just going to loop it there. Put the camera. It stopped. <laughs> I don't know, still the right both of them. It's almost like they're in, it, it, they may be together. Like they're both the same thing. Uh, go ahead, please, yeah, it's got to be. One voice uh, trying out with the other one. Both nodding at the same time. I think I'm bringing the other one up actually. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Rather than rubbing up the edge. I don't even know which one to bring it up. Pretty much give it. Yeah, well, I'll right, bring this one up because I've got a feeling the fish is on that one. Right. Right, you'll, you'll need some help with this. Yeah, yeah. It was a bit like when you had that rain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, food. you got fish on it. Yeah, there's a fish on it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that was the legs decided to start swimming. Yeah, this, this, this is going as well. Yeah, so. there's definitely fish on this. So there's oh. a fish, fish on one of them. There's fish off of this now. Lost the gear. Lost the gear. Yeah, braid over braid, isn't it? Oh, right. Definitely a fish on it, though. Yeah, but I think it's still here. Oh, I certainly feel a fish now. Well, it might bring the other tackle up. Yes. Right at the bottom end of it, wouldn't it? So yeah. The lead end. Don't bring it up too late. No, no, there's something here still. It's still not all up, yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is going to need a net. It's going to need a net. You're not wrong. The net's there in front. That's the camera. Man. Yeah. Oh. Oh, right, what side do you want me to come with you? Yeah, I'll come. Um, um, you want to pull up the river? Yeah. Oh. It's a nicer one. Certainly looks it through the water, but you can never tell, can you? Water magnifies them a bit. You know, so I'm gonna bring it up a bit and go forward. Got it. Yoo hoo! Hurrah! Hurrah! So you want a picture on mine? Yeah, you want to get a picture on mine. See now? You've got them teeth. <laughs> and it's a f off. Hey! So another target for me. Okay, so we've been out here all alone all morning, and we're about to be joined boarded by Mr. Nigel, the star fisherman. He'll come out and catch all the bloody fish now. I was going to say it's a big ocean. <laughs> Hang on, our mark. I didn't see How your name on it. On? Sorry? How are you getting on? We had a cup of taupe. We lost a big ray. Big, big ray. I mean, it was the biggest ray I've seen. Pardon? You caught 
Mate, yeah, loads. loads of mackerel here. What, here? Yeah. yeah. We spent we two hours in close trying to catch mackerel. No, the water's too dirty in there, isn't it? We, we tried off the east, off the west arm. We tried to keep moving out and moving yeah. out and then we went that way. And, no, there's loads plenty here and we're picking them up on the worms even, on the bottom. Right. How big were the time? Five or six pounders. Well, we've got something on here. There's something not in the rat. I think it might be scabbed. Could be a breed. Could be a breed. Oh, that's a breed. Some colour. It's a... It's a breed! Right. One of our target species again. Still only a little one. But again, pretty little fish. One of about five green species we get in British waters. The most common around here. Oh, there's black green. Look at that. Beauty. Beautiful little fish. Whoops, and it's away. <laughs> to prove it's a dog eat dog world down there, there's a dog whelk that's eating my crab. And he has got barnacles living on his back. So, check him back. Crab still seems to be reasonably okay. Refresh the worm and get it back down there.
just like I said, it's the sweet time. Check that baby out. Yeah, well it's got a nice rate, 10 pound rate. And I've got something banging on here. So I'm just gonna let him go. Yeah. Let him swim another day. So that her, that her is a her, it's a she, it's a definitely a she. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's she, there they go. Right, thank you fish. See goals, if you can eat that, you can have it. <laughs> And there she goes. Beauty. Cheers, fella. Oh, yes. Well, it's just stopped banging. It's definitely rattling and banging. It was rattling and banging. On the drop, <laughs> I dropped down, got a scad, dropped it back down again, straight away, straight into a little bream. Almost, almost sizable. <laughs> Quite, not quite size. So you can go home, back to his family. Oh, gone. Hope you can see me through all the raindrops. It is starting to persist it down a little bit. And it's quite wet. Mm. And the catch of the day. <laughs> Woody, We've got another one of the target species, yeah. but uh, a little bit long. smaller. <laughs> no, no, so a little smooth hand. We come along to chat with Eve with Andy and uh, Nigel, and straight away they're in a decent fish. We're wasting our time talking, we're missing the sweet spot. Yeah, well, I'll come alongside in a second. I just want to film him landing his fish. What is it? A yaw? Oh. <laughs> nice one!
Put his into a fish. All, all that, he's bringing all our leads in. Fighting or? No. Wait. Maybe this line's going slacks. Yeah. The usual culprit of loads of lead being brought in. It's yeah. not a, another big ray, maybe. It's getting resistance here. Yeah. Feel it. You know what I mean? Rather than just. I don't think it's a dogfish. And if it is, it's a good one. Yes. A nurse hound. <laughs> Just take the line. Oh, that's fine. It's going to be a ray in the current, isn't it? Well, if he's trying to take line, it could be, a, could be a tote in the current as well. across to one side now. Showing any colour? Oh, it's a ray, it's a ray. Ray coming up, it's a, it's a yaw coming up backwards. <laughs> I like the terminology. Not sure where I can get to the net, but I think it might come to your right. Yeah. I need to come to your right. Claspers on him. <laughs> Little fella, but I'll take that. There you go. Cheers, mate. I'll leave that to you. One that's uh, trace and all this. Oh, no. oh yeah, that's a tote, isn't it? Oh, look at it go. Bending this 50 pound class rod. Where's me? Go and protect the thing. Oh, let's be 
good end to the day, wouldn't it? It's a big speed. Feel something on the line, but it's probably there was some weed around. Weed, it. yeah, it's quite a bit of weed out there. Oh, I might be bringing this one up because that bread's slack as well. Don't we go that way? Dog fish. You do the T-bar and I'll hold the line down. Yeah. So if I hold the line down, that's it. That's it. Cheers. Look at that beauty. Beautiful fish, a beautiful fish. Uh, we're gonna put it in the net, put it in the net. 14 and a half. Oh, there you go, so 11, 11 pound undulate. 11 pound undulate. Well, I'm into a cracking day, mate. Yeah. The only way to finish. Cracking end to a cracking day at sea. This is this is how it's turning now, how it's become now. I mean, I, if it wasn't for the fact that we've been on the go since four o'clock this morning, I think we could stay out a bit longer. I mean, we can stay out a bit longer if you want. No, don't. I'm done, mate. Obviously, yeah. I've got to drive for an hour and a bit. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually chin strapped as well. Yeah. But look at that. Look at that view. That is just amazing. It's yeah, a day in a million. I wasn't going down. Without yeah. question, I'd just say, right, let's just stay. Yeah. Out. Day in a million. Day in a million. Yeah. Go here, back up the river. Up the river. Well, I don't think you can get kicking out that many these days. Yeah. Damage. Yeah, yeah. And here's the secret weapon. Anchored or tied to the anchor. We have got bag of fish and crabs. Something's gonna go at it. Yeah yeah. Fish get a free offering. We've had a cracking day. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant day. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. best one for a, quite a while actually to be fair. Yeah. Especially on a bit of rough ground. No absolutely absolutely so um, hopefully the video will be out um, as soon as I edit it. Hopefully I haven't got any sound problems. Um, we haven't any sound problems recently. Um, and we'll get that out pretty soon. I'm not sure if the live is going to be viewable uh, post. I think the first one isn't because I pressed the wrong button. I don't know. But I think the second one might have actually saved. Um, which has me catching an undulate. That fine undulate. So anyway, we're going to get back 
unless anything happens, uh, we're going to say sayonara and uh, see you on the next one. If something happens or there's something worth videoing or we suddenly see a pod of dolphins or something like that, then, then I will film again. But other than that, thank you very much. Thanks for being on Sea Fishing with CJ. Uh, click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, press the little bell thingy uh, so you get notifications of any videos I'm putting out. And get onto Facebook and join the Sea Fishing with CJ Facebook group. That's a great way to communicate. See you on the next one. Bye.